recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I thank the gentleman for South Carolina for the resolution of inquiry. This past weekend, we saw the president celebrate the slight decrease in energy. What an insult to the American people. Natural gas prices have more than doubled this year. The Energy Information Administration anticipates the residential price of electricity will be up 7.5 percent from 2021. The U.S. Consumer Price Index for electricity in August climbed 15.8 percent over the same month a year ago, the biggest such 12-month increase since 1981. Some people in this room weren't even born in 1981. Mr. President, we are still in an energy crisis. Winter is coming and energy bills are only expected to increase. The rush to green policies of this administration are a failure and costing the American well, people. I well, what? <laughs> Could I ask that, that members um, mute themselves if they're participating uh, virtually? Mr. Carter, would you continue? Gladly, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Where was I? <laughs> Artificially restricting our energy output is damaging the American economy and threatening our global security. Do we really think that Putin would have invaded Ukraine if he didn't have the leverage of supplying Europe with natural gas? It's basic math, really. Europe produces 230 billion cubic meters of natural gas a year, but uses 560 billion cubic meters. Russia now produces over 700 billion cubic meters of gas a year, but only uses around 400 billion. You can see the mismatch in the opportunity that, that Russia seized. We saw what happened with Europe's premature bet that green energy would save them. I had the opportunity to travel with the conservative, uh, con with the um, conservative what? Climate, caucus. climate caucus. That's what it was. I had the opportunity to go to Europe with them. And we, we saw what's going on in Europe. We did. We saw that they're allowing their policies to get ahead of their innovation and what problems it's causing in Europe. That is what is causing the problems over there now. Now we face similar problems here, but refuse to learn the lessons that Europe has experienced. We are increasing taxes on producers and making it more expensive to produce the most reliable energy in our country. This is an energy crisis of our own making. It's an energy crisis of this administration's making. Policies have consequences. I hope we can come to see this. Thank you, and I yield back. I'll yield to the gentleman from Alabama. You know, I, I sat here and listened to comments from my colleagues across the 